The Drug Enforcement Agency is considering classifying marijuana as a lower risk drug. The Department of Health and Human Services is asking the DEA to consider making it a Schedule 3 drug. Right now, it's a Schedule 1, just like heroin, just like LSD. Well, the DEA defines those drugs as those without medical use and a high potential for abuse. Schedule 2 drugs are like cocaine, methamphetamine, and fentanyl. These drugs also have a high potential for abuse and may lead to dependence on them. And lastly, Schedule 3 drugs have low potential for dependence, and these include ketamine, testosterone, and anabolic steroids. As Denver 7's Jessica Porter explains, rescheduling marijuana would have big impacts on Colorado's marijuana industry. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is recommending the DEA move marijuana from a Schedule 1 to a Schedule 3 drug. It no longer considers marijuana to have high abuse potential and no medical value. Advocates say this doesn't go far enough. We would like to see the DEA make a recommendation of descheduling entirely, similar to alcohol. Uh, it's quite clear that marijuana has more medical benefits. Bradley says reclassification would possibly give marijuana businesses access to banking and have positive tax impacts. It's impossible to overstate the harsh impact of IRS code 280E, which doesn't allow compliant marijuana businesses from taking normal business deductions. We're not talking about a tax break for marijuana businesses. We're just talking about fair treatment across the board, just like any other industry. So what does this mean for customers? As a Schedule 3 drug, marijuana would be in the same category as Tylenol with codeine, which theoretically in the future could be sold at pharmacies. Do we get purchased as well by, let's say, a pharmaceutical company, or are we kind of left out of that space? The move also complicates things for the hemp industry. Ermin Nomir is in the marijuana and hemp wellness business. The market could dry up and it could be a situation of why would you get hemp if you could get marijuana at a higher dosage. Cannabis stocks are surging as the DEA weighs what to do next, fueling concern for an industry full of small businesses and for social equity. The thinking that it will be easier for people of color to get a loan it's actually going to potentially be harder to compete in that space. Jessica Porter, Denver 7.